Really good. Um, 14 weeks I put it for this camp. This is my last one. I want to make sure I shine the way I'm supposed to shine. Bellator's gave me an opportunity to be respected. Give me an opportunity to show the type of true champion I am. Now it's time for my opportunity to get to show the fans the type of fighter I am. Um, I wear my heart on my sleeve like no other. All the Latino Americans, all the kids, everybody who looks up to me, I don't want to let them down. So I made sure I put in a great camp for this fight. Um, I'm prepared. There's not one rock that was unturned during this camp. I did everything I possibly can do for 14 weeks straight. Even I got cut about a month and a half ago. Good thing I got good blood in my body that I was able to heal super quick. So everything went perfect, man. I'm, I'm, I can't complain. There's no excuses. There's nothing. I'm going in and getting my hand raised. Is this really it? Is this la Everybody says the last one. How hard is it going to be to stay away? And is it, is it for real? Uh, it's not going to be hard to stay away because yeah. My mind knows it, my body knows it. You know, after having eight major surgeries, having over 25 concussions, um, it's overusing my physical abilities. Now it's time to use my mental abilities. I went to college for a reason. Now it's time to use that abilities. Um, doing other stuff, you know, either as TV shows, movies, uh, working with the troops, you know, um, 
stop bullying, doing something possible just to help out the society in general. That's what I want to do. He said he wanted this fight a long time ago, and now he's getting it. Do you feel the same way that you wanted a long time ago? And are you happy you're getting this fight? Um, I'm really happy I'm getting this fight. Before, you know, he was 185 pounder, so I never thought he'd come up to 205, but it shows he got some balls to step up to 205. I'm very thankful he did that because he lit a fire under my ass like no other, and he was able to talk the smack that he's had, and um, now it's time for him to back it up on uh, Saturday night. Tito, when the pads, your stance looked really wide. Does that cater towards his shot and trying to prevent that? Yes. Defend the shot. Defend the double. Defend the single. Wide stance. Uh, low stance. Wait for him to come in. He comes in too close. I'm going to knee him in his face. I'm going to defend the takedown. Uh, I'm going to push the pace. I'm ready for five five-minute rounds. We're training for this fight for us, a championship fight. And I'm going to push the pace. He's had three years off. Under the pressure, under the lights. Um, let's see if he can perform. I'm going to make him quit. I'm going to make him quit. What if you get on the ground? I saw there you were in mountain and you transitioned to an arm bar. Are you going to do that in the fight or just try to beat his brains in? I'm going to try to beat his brains in until that submission comes about. He gives me a submission, I'm going to take a submission, but I'm going to try to punch him. I'm going to hurt him. I want to hurt him. I want to hurt him. This is not a game. This is not a match. This is not a, a wrestling match. This is a fight. I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my legacy. I'm fighting for my career. And on Saturday night, I'm going to walk through Chelsea. Sonnen. He believes he belongs at two, uh, 185. He doesn't belong at 205. This is my weight class. I've had this weight class since, uh, gosh, 2001 when UFC made the weight class for me. They made this weight class because of me. I was the first light heavyweight champion. I was the longest training light heavyweight champion until John Jones. He says he was the greatest. He was never the greatest. He's never done anything. He says he calls himself a legend. What kind of uh, legendary stuff he's ever done? Nothing. People call me a legend. I don't need to call myself a legend. People call me a legend because I've done legendary stuff in my career. I've said at the bar, I've said it's a stage for every one of these MMA guys. Ronda Rousey, Conor McGregor, myself. I've done these things because I've done it from my heart and soul and I've done it with integrity. No one could ever give me disrespect about that because I did everything in integrity. I never bound out of nobody. And I'm very thankful for Scott Coker, very thankful for Kevin Kay and everybody at Bellator, the Bellator staff, to done, doing what they've done for me over the last three years. I'm very, very thankful. Tito. How does it feel knowing that MMA wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for That's not true. MMA would be where it is today. Um, I, I, I've made a little bit, but if it wasn't for Hoist Gracie, this wouldn't be where it is today. All the credit goes to Hoist Gracie. Uh, a little bit to me, but of course, um, you know, I, the Fertitas were the ones who saved the sport. They're the ones that put all their money up to make this happen. Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta, if it wasn't for them, the sport wouldn't have been alive. That's true, but don't That's you think you're kind of selling yourself short a little bit? I mean, I'm humble, man. That's my problem. I'm humble. I've been a humble person. I'm always a humble person. I'm always there for the fans. Um, I just had an opportunity to perform. I've had an opportunity. You know, injuries or not, I still perform. I had an opportunity to be shown on a main stage of mixed martial arts to show what type of person I am. My character is number one to me. My name is number one to me. And I want to show my children what hard work and dedication can truly be about. I want to show all the fans what hard work and dedication can truly be about. No matter what injuries you've gone through, um, every one of our men and, men, uh, men and women soldiers that support and fight for our country, I support them. That's why I re represent with the fatigues right now of, uh, from the Marines. I'm very thankful for my friend Art uh, Espinoza who hooked me up with these. Um, but at the end of the day, um, we couldn't live in this wonderful country of America if it wasn't for our troops. I asked him if you guys could be friends after this. Can you guys be friends after this fight? Uh, I'm not even thinking about that. I, I, I feel like that lion, that, that all those hyenas, <laughs> and jackals were nibbling at their toes. Now it's time the king to show the king of the jungle what's up. I'm gonna attack this hyena. After this is over, I'll wipe the blood off. We'll figure out when that time comes. But now it's time to show everyone the lion's yeah. truly here. Is it safe to say that this is the biggest fight of your life? Is this the biggest fight of my life? No. I've been doing this for 20 years. The biggest fight of my life already happened. Uh, this will be the greatest performance of my life? Yeah. I think so. I'm ready for it. I performed. I, I did everything in camp I needed to do. I'm really, 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 really excited for this fight. I'm, I'm prepared. There's no worries in me. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to go to war. I, I've, I've sharpened all my tools. I'm ready. ¿Qué podemos esperar de ti en esta pelea? Um, I've done everything I possibly can. How long does it last? As long as he can handle the punishment. Well, this fight, it, it, it's, it's, it's been my life. Mi corazón, mi sangre, puro mexicano, pero es pelea muy fuerte. Pues sí, sí, está bien, un ganar. At the end of the day. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. So, yeah. And one more thing, I want to make sure everybody, every one of you guys, you know, you guys may not be Democrats, maybe be Republicans. I'm not a politician. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. But I think we need what grace for our country. People should support Trump. 
Um, we have no choice. I had a choice and I voted for Trump. Inauguration, congratulate Trump um, on being our 45th president. He's gonna make America great again. Peace.